I want to welcome everybody to the second episode of Bobble Talk with today's star, Mitch Pennell, as our guest from Majesty Glass. We are excited to have him here. I think that um, what he is producing is something that is above and beyond what's out there. I think that um, it's exciting, it's new, it's exactly what uh, we needed. And I think by the response that we see on the pages, um, I'm not the only one who thinks that way. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep this too long. I'm gonna let Mitch get started because he has a lot to cover. First of all, hello to all of you. What, how thrilling it is to see all of your faces together. Um, Sally Pendergraph, I haven't seen your head in a moving motion in 50 years. So it's lovely to see you. If you all remember, Sally was my, my first very best friend when I was probably four or five years old. She lived across the street from me. Um, I know so many of you others. I feel like I know all of you. Um, just thank you so much. That's all I can say. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and your night to come and play with us. I've got some really fun stuff to show you. Um, I thought what I do and, and listen, I get long winded, so you can all do this on me if you want to. Um, I thought I'd first tell you kind of how Majesty Glass started. Uh, as most of you know, I'm an avid collector of 40 plus years. I started collecting when I was in junior high, 13 or 14 years old, about 1979, somewhere in that neighborhood. And the reason that I was so kind of enam enamored with glass ornaments is if you recall in 19 late 70s, it was just garage sale junk at that time. Like I was finding I was finding Italian pieces that you don't even see anymore and paying three and four dollars for. Well, a 13, 14 year old kid only has three or four dollars to spend. So it was really kind of out of a, I was interested, mom did a lot of antiquing, so I would go with her. And uh, that's just kind of what I got interested in. And it kind of came and gone. And then I, some of you don't know, but I owned a giant Christmas store. Actually, I had two big Christmas stores. Um, in the early 90s, my mom and dad and I opened the first store. And then when I moved to Chicago, I had the largest Christmas store in Chicago for about, about four years. Um, 9-11 kind of put it into that. And so, but I've been in wholesale retail manufacturing design since I was, I, I, listen, I was the kid knocking on your door selling Christmas cards and wrapping paper when I was nine years old. So I've never known really anything else. The way that Majesty Glass came to be, um, I finally collected to the point that I was running out of anything I wanted to buy anymore or, or want to even look for anymore. Um, that was interest to me. And listen, that's the cool thing about collecting. <laughs> everybody's got their own deal and their and that's the way it should be is everybody you collect because you want to collect and you collect what you love to collect and that's exactly how i collect but i um kind of got to places like you know and i thought about designing a line of glass many many years ago and i'm like i just don't want to get into that and p.s i'm turning 60 years old on thursday and why the world i decided to jump into another business when i should be thinking about the exit plan i don't know but i did and uh, and actually, I would even go as far as to say it sort of happened to me. It was kind of a I, I, I will always say this. This fell into my lap and it was something that was supposed to be. So I just took the I, I just accepted the challenge and decided to do it. And, you know, is it successful? I don't know. People like it. That's awesome. But what's you know, what's success? Doing something you absolutely love to do is successful to me. So that's that's the best part of the whole thing. And it's just something that I would do for free if I possibly could. The way it started, though, was. I kind of got a little bit jaded in things I saw going on in the collector's world. I didn't even know there, there were these pages or clubs till almost oh, three years ago, two and a half years ago. And so when I got into the pages, I found lots of friends. In fact, I met, I met a lot of you that way. Many, many of you I met that way. Um, but I just started, you know, I just thought, here's the bottom line. What I hope Majesty Glass does more than anything is it takes the competition out of collecting and puts the passion and the love of collecting back into collecting. And again, these are my own views. I don't mean to sway anyone's opinion. So whatever is whatever works for you is awesome. And I support that 100%. But what works for me was I was tired of seeing people wondering how much something was worth all the time. My collection, I have no idea what it's worth and I don't care because I always say this about my collection. It was collected with my heart and I can guarantee it was collected on the cheap. Um, but it'd only take one drunk uncle stumbling into it for it to be over, right? right? So I always kind of try to keep that in mind of what's the value of it? I mean, the value of it, if I were to sell it, well, why would I sell it? Like none of that makes any sense at all. 
I intend to leave my uh, collection at some point in time to one of the grand um, to one of the grand Gilded Age mansions somewhere in the country, like maybe the maybe the Biltmore or uh, Marble Marble House or you know a breaker someplace where it could be put on permanent display if that if somebody even wants it. But anyway, that's neat to bring it. So I was just kind of jaded by people just talking about the number of an ornament or the collectability of an ornament or the rarity of an ornament. And you know, and don't get me wrong, I've got some some. I guess rare things on my tree, but I didn't, I didn't get them because they're rare. Um, and, and this one might kind of knock some of you in the boots, but so forgive me if I'm stepping on any toes at all, because as I said, I don't mean to, but the numbering system is what bothers me more than anything. And let me tell you why. When there are, especially in what I'm doing in, in free form blown glass, and just so everyone is clear, there are no molds at all used in my glass except for birds, uh, a few reflector indents, and I will possibly do in the next year or so some what they call complex molds, which is you're familiar with like a reflector that has a pine cone mold on the bottom of it or a Santa head that has a that's that's a compound mold. Might might touch that. But the thing about it is this, what I'm doing through whether it be whether it be Yvonne, one of my other German makers, one of my Polish makers, they can make 50 at a time or 25 at a time. or So in the course of a year, maybe they can make 75 to 100 ornaments of one style. And I mean, other than, I guess, other than painting it with, you know, angel's tears or a brush made out of baby Jesus hair, I don't know how it can be more rare than that. You know, we're talking, <laughs> we're talking a country of 330 million people. So therefore, for instance, uh, just an example, the, the new uh, Glass Passions pieces, all of those pieces will be numbered, but they'll be numbered one of 25, because that's what you bought. You bought one of 25. You didn't buy number two because they're not kept in order. And especially when it comes to molded pieces, big productions, 5,000 pieces, there is zero way you could possibly know what order those ornaments are made in. There is zero way, zero way you could almost know that that was exactly the number to the one. Because in shipping, pieces get broken. In receiving, pieces get broken. When you're traveling, pieces get broken. You're hanging, pieces get broken. Like, you know what happens. So, and as I said, I'm not saying that to discount that. Um, I'm just... I'm just saying what I did was to try to take focus off of all of those things and just really put attention back onto beautiful handmade glass and and also honor these artists because um, you probably know by now from hearing other people talk, the most rare thing in this business is to find a good glass blower and a good painter. And they are like finding chicken teeth simply because the industry has changed so much there are very few 10, 12, 15 year old boys or girls that are growing up in a household in Germany or Poland watching their mom and dad paint or blow glass that say, hey, I want to be a glass blower when I grow up. That's how it used to be. But now you have a computer in your house and you can go to college. So that part of the industry has changed so much. And I feel like as much as anything, what I want to do is do my little bitty part to try to keep this art alive and try to keep collectors alive because you know i see from looking at us we're all pretty much average and about the same age bracket you know and so where are our 30 year olds like where's the where's the new spendable income bracket um and it's very important because if not what's going to happen is we're all going to get old and this stuff's either going to go to garage sales or family or relatives or be sold off and who's going to buy it right like who's going to take that baton over and so I'm very focused on all of those, all of those little nuances of the business, besides just making pretty glass. So the way that it all started was it kind of fell on my lap. I thought there was a need for it. Um, and I will tell you this, the reason that no one else is doing freeform blown glass is because A, it is the most expensive glass to possibly make. And a, there are no room for margins in it for the big guys. So that's why you don't see like the Roush and the, you know, some of the larger companies. And, and and I'm not saying that to to, to uh, uh, discount them. I'm just saying it's not possible. There's not enough room for margins in it because it's so expensive to have it made. Um, a piece like, I don't know, let me show you this. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you. I'm going to show you some new stuff for next year, and I'm going to show you some other stuff. But for instance, this piece right here, this is the new party dress. Um, party dress in pink. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, right. So to make this piece of glass, you can blow you can blow and paint anywhere between 
Yeah, I'd say somewhere it'd blow, to, to blow paint and complete somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to 10 pieces, depending on who the makers are. You can blow eight to 10 pieces of molded glass at the same time as that you can make that. Piece. So as you see, that's that's the cost of it. But I wasn't scared of that because I knew that the, you know, sort of the footprint that I wanted to do was direct to consumer. I don't have to have giant margins. I'm not, you know, the whole idea of Majesty Glass and keep this in mind too, is to continue to sell through every single season because I don't plan to keep anything on shelves. That's how we're keeping the prices to where it's affordable. I'm not stocking anything. There are no retailers. It's all coming in, going straight back out to you guys. So that's the plan. We're gonna see how it goes. Thus far, it's been, you know, it's been a lot of fun and successful as far as I'm concerned, because I said I was gonna do it and I tried it and I figured it out some way. And so <laughs> here we are at, you know, this place of April, almost April 1st. And I could not be happier. Like I said, there's nothing. I, I wake up and all I can think about is glass. And and I have another company I'm running. So that's not too good for that company. Um, but that being <laughs> said, and I'm, if I forget anything, I will I wanted to show you, tell you what, I'll walk you through these things real quick. And then we'll go to Q&A because I want to hear from you guys more than anything. Um, a couple Mitchell. of the things that will be shown in uh, the next cycle, which it's looking like it's going to be around the 1st of May. The, just so you, Just so I have soldiers that know what the real story is. Here's the deal. It's the packaging um, that we're waiting on. So we pushed it all back, as I said last week, to, uh, another month. Um, but what I want to make sure is I want to make sure cycle one is finished as far as we're pretty much shipped all the way through before we start cycle two, just so there's no confusion. So anyone who is ordering anything in cycle two doesn't get confused of whether they're getting it for immediate delivery or for the, the fall delivery. So that's that's the deal. But I'll keep you posted like I always do. Uh, you know, with any kind of updates whatsoever. So, um, a couple of the new um, things for Germany. Mitchell, on uh, the pink party dress, is that for the next uh, round? Yes, that will be available. And just so everybody can smile, there will be a hundred of those rather than 50. So, because the mm -hmm. other party dress sold out in about 20 minutes, <laughs> which I'm mm -hmm. still, I'm just, I look at that and I still go, really? Because <laughs> I'll tell you this. Hey, I'm a collector for some designer second, but in the design part of it, remember this always, I designed all this stuff for me. So the fact that you guys like it too, that, that thrills me, that thrills me, but I will never ever put anything in line that I wouldn't put on my, or won't put on my own tree. Cause I'll have, I'll have one of everything in my tree. Maybe. Cause I think I sold a double candy stripe to somebody last year that I now don't have anymore. So anyway, um, this is, you guys saw this in Germany, uh, but this is finished, but this is called, this is called uh, Heaven's Visitors, Heaven's Visitors, and this is that white bell. Oh, that's so pretty. It has the cardinals all over it. It's kind of hard to see. In wow. I love that. Beautiful. That yeah. is gorgeous. And I love it. it. Actually, listen, it actually, don't, don't ring it too hard, though, because you'll, you'll bust the <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and I, you know what, and I love bells, and I don't, I just don't think they're enough I, I just don't see a lot of bells. I don't see a lot of really, you know, mm -hmm. there's, there's a, Yvonne and Mr. D have some really sweet little bells in their line um, that, wait, that you can't order anymore now. So sorry. Um, but so then what we did is I did another smaller version of that bell that it's a nice little, kind of a small to medium size. And we did it in six colors. Oh, love that. And they're really simple. They just have these really beautiful, the these really beautiful clear glitter, uh, ice effects and then a glitter a glitter rim and then the 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 clackers are also uh, you okay and red, what happened red. and so all the colors alternate there's only six colors and then they swap mm -hmm. um, and then there is purple do I need to come orange what I'm sorry what yeah, I'm coming <clears throat> um can we can make everybody sure mute? Can everyone mute? everybody go on mute I'm sorry what'd you say Susan or Suzanne I'm sorry Oh no, no I was just um, asking if everybody could go on mute if unless you speak. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi everybody. P Producer Jim here. If you yeah. could all mute, if you could all mute for me, that would be great. We're all getting some background noise. We're getting some cars honking. I mean, I don't I don't it'll be my it'll be you. my dog soon, Jim. So. I don't need to know if you're in the loo. Uh, let's, let's just mute. In fact, I had myself mute. Sorry about that, Mitch. I hated That's it. all right. Yeah. I don't care. Um, Jim, you need to, hey, Jim, I told you to hold that shut up sign when it's time. To <laughs> oh, 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 I've got a shut up sign right here. Right, All right. right, right, All right. here. I have one too. I carry it with me. I actually carry one on both hands. 
in in, in my pocket sometimes. <laughs> All right. So here's the just real quick. Here's the here's the apple green with the pink, and then here's the turquoise with the red. So these are really really fun, and these are gonna be these are gonna be really affordable. Um, but there's a, a set of total of six of these, which I love them. Um, next, there is I haven't really named this yet. I keep calling it, we, the factory, we call it the TriStar Reflector, which we may just call it TriStar for Reflector. And as you've probably noticed thus far, I don't get too worked up about the names of any of my ornaments. It's kind of like, you know, green and red ornament with reflector sometimes. I try to name them kind of clevery things, but you'll never hear them named like storybook, foofy, fluffy, I'm just not doing it. I just won't do it. I'm, you know, like, you know, I just, I just can't, you know, I, I, anyway, I can't even come up with a corny name right now, but I'm just not going to name anything corny. They're going to be, this will be called TriStar Reflector if it has to be. So these are really fun though. These are in three color combinations. Um, I don't know if you can see it really close, but that center, the center of that reflector, it's a molded star shaped reflector. And the center of it is, is that hot pink. There we go. Oh, there it hot is. Pink. And the same color as the bottom ball, but that is not a jewel. That is not a gem. That's just paint. And these are fun because they're ombre. They're a, it's a dark kind of a royal purple at the bottom that goes to violet on the top. And then it has that just micro, that really bright micro glitter on it. So there's a there's a purple version. There's a there's a light pink to a fuchsia version. And this one has the lime green bottom ball. And then there is a green that is kind of a, this is, this is kind of a, cit, a citrine color, sort of a yellowish green. And then it goes to, uh, a true like apple or kiwi green and then it has the blue center so those are new those will also be uh in the next cycle um probably one of my favorite new things that we did in uh february and i think i showed a little peek of these but these are these new um lollipop reflectors look at these wow and these also come in three color combinations let me see if i can I will sell my husband. He that's... cleans books. <laughs> so, okay. So then uh, there is that. And, and that's a really great combination. That's kind of a grass green and turquoise. And then this one is kind of a coral. It's it's sort of a coral brickish red and and a golden orange. Then it has a gold, a gold reflector. And these are about uh, six, maybe six and a half or seven inches tall. So they're not, they're not giant. And then here is the royal purple and violet really beautiful mitch and then here's what's super fun look at these little yep. minis we did now in 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 germany in the factories they call these olives because the, you'll see because of the shapes but look we just did these three little bitty minis metro remember who your friends are who are you me no no <laughs> oh, oh the <that's> tag <laughs> um so okay so that's kind of that's kind of it for the new stuff um, I don't remember if I showed this the other night. This is that new turquoise. Maybe it did. This is that new turquoise coloration for Bows of Hollywood. It's gorgeous. I'm telling you, all, this color is so pretty. It's a. It's more of an aqua. Tur the the leaves are turquoise, and the and the base is just kind of a satin finish aqua. But this coloration is really beautiful. Um, and then I also want to make sure I point out real quick so everybody understands because I've had a lot of questions about this. These new spin top. Uh, these are in the line now. But I want to make sure everybody knows that these are translucent. They are not silvered. So the way that the light, the way that the light penetrates them, it's hard to see with the light coming toward me. But let's see, there's a you see this? There. So the way the light hits these, though, they they turn into almost like stained glass on your tree. It's a, for any of you that have uh like old unsilvered ornaments, you you know what I'm talking about. It's a whole different dimension because the light penetrates through and it just kind of gives you more color um than so much so much reflection and sparkle um and then i'm going to show you this real quick and then we'll move on this is the new fish fountain we didn't talk about this much the other night but i really was talking about this more than any i want to talk about this more than anything because i wanted uh, had a couple of people ask me this question how do they stay on the tree for those of you who have them you know they stay on really well because the the way i designed them with this flat surface on the bottom what that does is that helps balance them on a on a branch some of you have had probably issues with clip on things before that are uh, less structured and they're more tall or spiky. And it's, sometimes it's hard to get them to stand because they want to tilt one way or the other. Uh, I will tell you a little trick to that though. 
if you do that, find one of the little finger branches of your tree and pull that up to the next to the ornament and maybe wrap it around the the, the uh, clip just a little bit and that'll hold it hold it sturdy. So yeah, so these are made to where they, like I'm just holding it by the clip, but you can see how how flat that is. So, and these are also, the, the fish fountain is also translucent. It also has no silvering on the fish. The, uh, the bottom beads are silvered and pink. So um, that is it for product. Now, I do wanna ask, want to ask one quick, quick question. I always, I'm always interested in Zoom meetings. Um, I wanna know if I'm the only one that's not wearing any pants. <laughs> Kidding, or am I? Well, I've, kind of, I've always wanted to ask that question and then I kind of was afraid that someone would stand up and show me. So, okay, so everybody just keep stay, keep your seats, people. Right. I'll stay in my chair then. Okay. <laughs> all <right. laughs> um, all right, Travis, did did I uh, did I miss did I miss any anything that I needed to say about what I'm doing? Or oh, wait, 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 wait. I guess you, you did. Special audience, I forgot about this. I guess you um, did. Look what I have that no one has seen in person yet. Oh, we need we need to blow that up. This is there. This is Yvonne and Mr. D's absolutely fabulous, unbelievable creation. And you can Beautiful. see the four reflectors on the top. And the reason I did those four reflectors on the top is this is designed to hang middle to low. So the reflectors shoot up. I'm going to do some more stuff like this that it's designed to, to project the light up. Um, for those of you who got this, I am so happy for you. For those of you who didn't that want it, there will be another opportunity for this, the, uh, that, that we're going to be able to do another round of it next year. So that's back to my, um, I don't, in fact, I will tell you this, after that was over, after we, we did that and y'all just blew me away and just tore down the doors. <laughs> I mean, I was not expecting that at all. I thought it might take us a couple of days to sell through on it, but you know, thank you so much for that. But um, the only bad part about it, there was one bad part about it. And that was, I felt so horrible for people who didn't get an ornament. Um, Cause I don't like that. I'm not exclusive. I'm secret, but I'm not exclusive. And that's the way that I want Majesty Glass to continue is to be a secret, but not exclusive. Everybody's welcome. It's just that, you know, the way that I produce and the way I design and make, I can't afford to have 10,000 people roll over because it, it would it would ruin it. It would absolutely ruin it. This has to grow very, very, very small and very organically like it did from the beginning. Um, so, but I didn't like that feeling of people not getting ornaments. So right now, I'll let you in on a little secret as well that I won't tell anybody else on the page. I am working on doing a companion piece to all four of these. So in other words, a single ball Similar design and flavor won't be made by uh, by Glass Passions or uh, that, that I don't think because it's just it'll be just a basic single reflector like this. But that way, if the price point is out of your range for the other ones, it still gives you a uh, it still gives you the design because the patterns are really pretty and the patterns were all original anyway. And actually, those patterns were all designed mostly for single balls anyway. Um, but the with the with the brilliant talent of, of Yvonne and Mr. D, she was able to take that and transpose it into some other shapes that I had kind of drawn and done and so forth. So that collaboration was so much fun, but I also can't tell you how much I love those two people. They are absolute, um, I don't even know how to, how to explain it. They are doing something really special for the world that I don't think they even have any idea of what they're doing, right? I mean, it's, it's Matt, it's, well, Kent, Kent Fritzel was there, he knows. It was magical. It it's it's um it it's weeping like it like there's something emotional about it that is so beautiful and I I just can't explain it. I hope every single one of you get a chance to see that at some point in time. And I can't I can't. Hey say Mitch. Anything. So I'm sorry. Just real quickly, I want to add. I just want to add to that really quickly. Oh, the, my kid is mobile. Hey hey, sorry. I'm I had to pick up the kids from school. The oh, dogs. I thought, was it your turn to drive um, the bus again? <laughs> my turn to drive the bus i just wanted to add to that yeah. you know their, their product is so gorgeous and i hope if any of you have been watching my series on magic on uh glasser and leidenschaft um there is a point of difference not all glass is made the same not right. glasser and leidenschaft is not made the same as everybody else out there and neither is mitch's so that's all i wanted to say uh good job mitch i'm loving all this stuff i'm gonna be so uh, thanks Ken. i love you love you uh, all right so here is gilded age I just wish that I knew. Oh. I, listen, you can't be good at all of it, but Can my text is yep. crappy. 
Here's Gilded Age. This is uh, Blazing Ice. So at least you know they're real. Like, you know, I just didn't, you know, do some AI. What if this whole thing was AI? How about that? You were just getting art artificial intelligent ornaments. <laughs> and then here is Plaid Plaid World, which I love this. You know, it's hard to photograph this because there's a certain angle where that center has, looks like it has a black ring in it, but it's not, it's just the color. Um, I'll tell you, color and reflectors do really weird things. For those of you who have khakis reflection, if you have um, noticed that from a distance, that reflector looks like it's orange, like a flaming reddish orange, it's not. That that reflection that reflector is the very same color as the as the bottom ball. It's that hot fuchsia pink, but because of the way it reflects on, off of itself, it turns it into that into that crazy weird almost you know electric orange or neon orange, if you will. Um, other thing I, I was going to tell you that about blowing the glass, I like natural reflectors a lot. For those of you who don't know what the what the difference is, when they are blowing, if I've got anything here, okay, so this has a natural reflector in it, right? What this means is once this shape is blown, once the once the oval shape is blown, the glass blower goes back and he heats this surface right here, and instead of using a mold like the stars or you know the molded patterns, he takes what looks like a uh, he, she, because I've got a, I've got a female glass blower too. That was not fair. Um, he takes what looks like almost like a porcelain knitting needle, and that is poked straight down into that hot glass. He has about a nanosecond to do it, right? That's why this piece is 100% naturally handmade with no molds or anything. So sometimes when you see, um, and there's a, there's a, there's a, to me, there's a, a little bit of a forgiveness in the nuance part of it that I don't consider it a mistake or a flaw. You know how on, on um, wish I had one here to show you, but you know how on um, double reflectors, sometimes the bottom reflector will be pulled just a little bit to the left or the right, you know, like maybe two or three degrees. It's not drastic. Now, if it's off 10 or 15%, which I think maybe some of us have seen that somewhere before. I'm seeing Susan nod her head. Um, I'm told on you, Susan, nobody else. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but if it's off, if it's off that drastic, that's not right. That that should never pass the hands of a glass blower into a painter, or a painter into a packer, or a packer into a shipper, or a shipper into a retailer, or retail into your hands. Like that should never happen, or it won't happen on my watch. However, if it's slightly pulled, let me tell you why. It tells you if that glass blower is left-handed or right-handed. Because if you think you have a dominant hand, so when he blows that second ball at the bottom it can slightly pull just a little bit because his hand is either dominant right or dominant left. So, you know, you would tend to have just a little more weight on that. Um, and so also, if you ever see a reflector that maybe the, the center isn't completely perfectly centered, it's because he has a half a second to put it in. So there are occasionally, they're occasionally off centered. Uh, and as I said, I have a very, I have a very strict allowance of what I will allow to be a factory, like a nuance or what I would consider a flaw. However, I happen to have really great blowers and painters, though, that they don't let that out of their hands. Like, I would never get that. So, but that is a really interesting nuance. It's also why I love, uh, like, old Polish glass, especially, and German. But, you know, older Polish glass tends to be more decorated than German glasses. That's, you know, with the, the patterns and Fantasia-ish stuff. The reason I like it is because I like seeing the irregular brush strokes in it. I like seeing the paint that is just not quite perfect, but it's still there. Um, those those handmade nuances are what make me really have passion for for specific ornaments. And that's even with what what I with what we're doing because it's all hand painted. So occasionally you'll see a brush stroke or you'll see this, but I'll tell you what you won't see. You won't see any crooked lines, um, or you won't see anything that looks like a drunk girl putting on mascara. <laughs> <laughs> on on that note, Mitch, can we pause for just a second and let's do our first giveaway? Oh yeah. Oh, so you that's what you're saying is I've already talked too much. Okay, I get it. No, 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 no. We we keep, know. keep going, but you know, we here. want to do I'll, one I'll now and one at the end. So uh, yeah, just let me get a couple more names in here real fast. We've just had okay. a couple more people come in. So let me get those in. Well, and get ready to turn Mitch off if he doesn't answer this correctly. So since you are a guest on Bobble Talk, those four samples you just showed of the glass urn, could, could you send them to me? I would probably take a hammer to them first. 
Turn them off. <laughs> no, yeah. Turn them off. Really. Not really. Okay, I think and I'm it, ready. In the meantime, y'all be thinking of any questions you want to ask me because I'm I'm an open book. Absolutely. As you're as we get ready to go to the um to the first raffle here, uh, do be thinking of your questions. And as we get to them, make sure your camera's on and just raise your hand so that I can see you and call on you in the order that I think you put your hand up. That way we don't end up with everybody talking over everybody else and it just gets all crazy. I don't like crazy. Crazy makes me crazy. Um, all right. So here we go. I'm going to switch over to the giveaway screen. And and this is for the single kissle kissle toe. For the kiss this is for the kissle toe. <laughs> yeah. Kiss kiss um, my toe. Oh, I'm so excited. Very good. Now, um, look at the wheel, everyone. It is alphabetized, so you can see where the A's are. Or where I guess, there, yeah, there's one A and then B as they go around. Look at it and make sure your name's on there. Let me know if it's not. I see an S, and I'm not quite sure what that is. Mine's not. Mine is it? Well, yours wouldn't be eggs. My dogs uh, aren't there. Your dogs no aren't there. there. I don't uh, see my name there, Mary Scott. Okay, I, I'm sorry. What was the name again, please? Mary Scott. Mary. Uh, there's a Mary S. I think that's is that oh, Mary? There's Mary S. Right there. Yeah, we don't have we don't have any last initials. That's probably why. Uh, I heard a male voice say, or or maybe it was a male voice. I'm not sure. Uh, say that they were missing. Who was that? You may have just heard I don't me. see Kent F. You you might have heard me. I was repeating Mary. It's Kent Myers. M Kent M. Kent M. Very good. And oh, Kent, oh, oh, F as Kent well. is there. He's uh, he's gone. Oh, okay. So there's he's a Kent. Kelly there, there's there is a Kent F and a Kent M. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. There's, yeah. Oh, there it is. There's only a Kent A and F on there. So there's a Kent, there's a Kent A, a Kent F, and a Kent M. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Kent M is there. Do we yeah. have Cabot? He mentioned something in the chat about not seeing his name. Yeah. Someone spell that name for me, please. C A B B E T. Okay. I do not. Yeah, I do not see him. Perfect. He should be on there now. I'm having a hard time reading this wheel, though. Yeah, if you're on your phone, it's probably hard to read. Here, I can I can scroll. There's a list over to the right with about 50 people on it. I I got it. Take off canopy. Okay. Bam. Okay. Spin that wheel. Are you Are you ready to spin? Oh, yeah, spin it. it. <laughs> All right. Here Turns we. Here we go. The suspense is killing us. <laughs> Jackie, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Jackie. Yay, Jackie. Yay. Wow. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank awesome. you. That's Fantastic. awesome. Um, just so everybody knows, uh, once we're finished here, if you'll um, if you'll message me, we'll work out to get you your ornament. Because here's here's the deal. I think I'm out of I think I'm out of bags. But what I can do is I can go to and ship you the ornament, and I'll ship bags in with your order just later or whatever. So, but all you gotta do is message me, and then we'll we'll work it out. So you don't have to worry with Travis or Jim either one. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you You're very welcome. much. Thank you very much for taking something off my to do list because Travis just keeps adding things. I know he's like that. he's like that you know he knows I love him I'm the star I just have to say again it is just so awesome seeing all these faces because uh, you know in, in in the group as and in I, the bathroom I'm trying and I might be uh, you know maybe I'm the only one that feels this way but I truly say this and I mean it this little thing has turned into something that I could have never have imagined I mean, I was thinking I'll make some glass for myself and found out a few friends who wanted some glass and I'll make some glass and they can have some glass and I'll have some glass. And then when you started the page, here's what I want to tell each and every one of you, your contributions to the page and, and what you do for me 
I can't even put into words because it feels like this little group of people have become a family to me, truly. And so when mm -hmm. I see your faces, it I feel like I'm talking to my brothers or my sisters or my aunts or my uncles or, you know, like it feels like family to me. So, and, and that's nothing that I did. All I, all I did was just made a space and it's, it's all of you that have come oh. on there because one of the big things about starting my page, starting this company yeah. is I just got tired of the bitching and the, and the complaining oh. and the nitpicking and, come and on. no, yeah. I don't allow that in my playground at all. And as some of you know, we've had to kick a few children out of the playground. <laughs> but <laughs> one thing I will not Bravo. is complete nonsense. Nonsense. There's no reason for it. Listen, we're all at an age that we know that our days on this earth are numbered. We've got fewer ahead of us than we do behind us. I'm not going to spend one stinking minute of mine putting up with that garbage. And the rest of it, the rest of the rules in my playground are there really aren't that many rules. Just don't be a jerk. As long as you're not a jerk, we're going to have a lot of fun. And know this, exactly. I laugh about 99% of everything I do in life because I think it's the heals the soul and I think it's far better than crying. Uh, but I just can't say thank you enough for how special you all are to me. And you and you truly made this, made me know how right this was for me to do this. And it's all because of you guys. And it doesn't matter whether you're buying my glass or not. And if you notice, I don't talk about buying glass much. I don't talk about money much because I don't like it. I think if we were on a barter system, we would all be much better off. But unfortunately, I cannot pay my landlord in ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> but I just say this. I, I, just, I just treasure all of you so much. And when you invite people to come be part of our family, make sure it's someone who fits in our family. You know, I'm not out. You, you see, I don't campaign much for big numbers. Don't campaign much for... I don't even advertise much for, for the website. I just, I want to make pretty glass. And the way I feel about it is this, anyone who wants my glass will find it, right? And I don't have to tell people it's, you know, another thing when people go, oh, you're going to see this glass. Look how pretty it is. Well, give me a chance to say if I think it's pretty or not, because art is all relative. Art is all how you receive it and how you, how you visualize it and how it moves you. So if you're telling people about Majesty Glass, here's what I would tell them. Tell them how it makes you feel to be a part of our group, how does it make you feel when you get ornaments? How does it make you feel when you put them on your tree? Because here's the coolest thing about what I do. And I think about this all the time. I am creating something that is so intimate, so intimate. This is like having your hair cut or, or being fitted for shoes. Like this is, this is personal, very personal, because it really comes down to a time you're spending with family and friends and people you love and celebration, not with me. And so knowing that I have work that will be celebrated for decades to come, decades to come after I'm long gone. Some of you may remember hearing me say this in the very beginning. I didn't put my name on it because I don't care if anybody ever remembers who I am. What I care about is that someone pulls something out of the box one day and goes, oh my gosh, grandma loved this ornament. And it's in a ratty old torn up majesty glass box. And <laughs> that that is the epitome of success for me. I, I can't think of anything more more wonderful than to know that and be silent in that um, that 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 dream carries on and lives on. And so it can't do that without you all channeling that. So thank you. Isn't that nice? Speaking of family, right. I think we should all remember that uh, Thursday is uh, Mitchell's birthday. So happy birthday, sir! Yes. Oh my goodness! Happy oh my God. God. welcome to the club, Mitch. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, then you're not 60. <laughs> Shut up. I'm older than you. Shut <laughs> up. Put some more light on that face. And you know what? I just hang on a second. Everyone look at look at Susie. I just noticed she has got she's got a firework in her hair. I love it. <laughs> she is a true fan. <laughs> yes. I love I that love so it. much. I love that so much. Well, wait till you get the minis because you're gonna be able to do lots of stuff with that. <sighs> so if you want if you want to work on the butter yeah. system, what will you send me for a pound cake? <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's hear from some of you guys i want to hear what what your thoughts are tell me absolutely I mean, you don't have to be necessarily a question about glass it can be tell me about your families tell me about what majesty glass has meant to you or if you hate it tell me that and we'll try to fix it just um, put your hands up just put your if you if you if you just have a comment or anything you want to say have it agnes of course go ahead so i just want Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And don't laugh at me if I cry. 
But um, what Majesty Glass has done for me last year, when my mom got sick, okay, nobody has ever done anything like that for me, ever. And I will forever be grateful, humble, and appreciative. You and Rene started a GoFundMe for my mom's physical therapy in Poland. And that's exactly where it went. And as you know, its reflection will forever be my mom's ornament. Because I was from the beginning with you, supporting you a thousand percent. And that ornament will forever remind me of that specific time. I always thought on a happy note that coffee is my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Not anymore. It's Majesty Glass. And I will seriously <laughs> tell you guys, very seriously, I will sell my husband. <laughs> huh? I said, what do you want for him? Can he pack glass? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Well, Agnes, you know that I love you and you know that this group loves you so much. And here's, let me tell you in response to what you said. And thank you so much. Because here, here's something that, that, that my friends and my family and people who know me really well will know this about me. I am, I am, and I'm not saying, but let, let me say that preface this correctly. I'm not saying this as a brag at all, but I am foolishly generous, foolishly. And I challenge people to be foolish, generous, foolish. See how that makes you feel because my generosity actually comes from more of a selfish place because of how the way it makes me feel. It makes me so happy. And so Agnes, I didn't know you that well. I knew who you were, but I didn't know you that well. Here's what I saw. I saw someone who needed some help and I had some glass that needed to be gotten rid of and it was a perfect match. Right? And so reckless, abandoned generosity. I cannot, I cannot say enough about it. I mean, and I know that that sounds crazy, but but mm -hmm. honest to God, if I keep telling people this, if I ever won the lottery, here's what I would do. We would do a system some way where you sign up and when your number comes around, you get to go in my store and you get to pick out anything you want and I'd ship it to you for nothing. That's what I would do if I won the lottery. All right? So everybody pray for me to get the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Powerball, come on, Powerball. Who else has a question? The hey, Travis, oh, Ricky Kelly does. This? Okay. I promise you all, everybody will get a two-year supply of majesty glass, every single oh, ornament. Okay. Awesome. Good deal. Who'd you say, Travis, next? With the uh, I, I believe it was Kelly. Yes. Is that right, Kelly? Kelly? No. Oh. I no, I don't have anything. No. Oh, okay. 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 I just saw your finger. Oh. Uh, anyone oh, else? Kelly, were you giving me the finger? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to. I'm gonna, I, we're gonna actually, have to I'd like to point out. <laughs> I'd like to point out something else that I love about Majesty Glass is that, you know, I for years collected molded pieces, um, and the one thing I love about all of your pieces is that they work incredibly well at kind of breaking up all of those shapes, and it builds this layered texture. And I just appreciate that so much by, because no one else is doing it. And I really could see a difference in our trees this year and adding those pieces to them and the layers that it creates. Well, thanks. So, absolutely. Thank so uh, exactly. Sally, I think you had a question. Unmute myself. Um, oh, I messed up the video. So not too much of a question, more of... Um, Mitch's generosity, he has always been generous, even as a little kid. We did so many fun, creative things together. And one thing that we um, always did was make little May baskets. Oh, I'd forgot and, about that. We did. And we would get flowers out of probably our neighbor's flower beds. No, we'd go to my grandma. We'd go to Seuss's house. My grandma, remember my grandmother lived yeah, down the yeah. street and she had that beautiful garden, that beautiful flower garden. But we would make these little um, construction paper baskets or cardboard baskets and decorate them and put little flowers in them and take them to the neighbors and leave them on the porch and ring the doorbell. And we just did some really fun things like that. But uh, um, that's, a sweet, that's a sweet memory. Maybe maybe you should make a May basket ornament. Ah, 
You know what? I actually already have a couple of things that would fall into that category. Okay. That's a good idea. No, okay. thank you. That's really sweet. And I'll, I'll tell really quickly too. <laughs> Don and I also, we had, there were several neighbor kids in, in our neighborhood that they were around the same age, a couple, a little bit older and, and then a, a few of younger, lots of brothers and sisters, lots of yes. sets of, of brothers and sisters. But every summer we would do, we would have the a muscular dystrophy uh, carnival in because we had a giant backyard and so did Sally, but we did it in our yard. And I think we did it in our yard because we had the lawnmower and the lawnmower you was- You had the lawnmower. Your lawnmower dad rode the train. Red wagons was the train ride. Yeah. And then we would hit up the Western Auto, for those of you who remember old Western Auto stores, to get all of the appliance boxes they had so we could build our scary haunted house. Yes. So you can imagine what a six, eight, <laughs> ten year old was doing with, you know, I mean, it, it, looking back, had, it probably wasn't that great, but we thought it was fun. We, we thought it was amazing. And times. it really was pretty good. Yeah. Lots of fun. It was Those pretty fun awesome. memories. Thank you for, for I, the Maybach. Yeah. I remember that. I love and that. Then, Does, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Mitch's mom, then she would drive us 30 miles to Springfield so we could donate the money. That's right. We went to the, they had a local telethon there on yeah, TV. for the Jerry oh. Lewis telethon. <laughs> By the way, mom wishes she could be here tonight, but she has to watch her 16-year-old grandson play volleyball because he is a oh baseball. well, that's very he's important. 16-year-old and he's playing starting for the for the varsity team in where he lives in Phoenix. So, wow. Sweet. So I my my nephew takes precedence over me. That tells you. Oh. <laughs> But but mom really is a real person, just so you know. She she really does she really does exist. I listen, I'll tell you that real great. quick. I'm so fortunate and blessed. My mom and dad have have supported me. They 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 made a way for me to be creative. You know, they didn't understand it. They didn't really know what was going on, but they just knew that that they had to some way uh, facilitate a play, way for me to be creative and always have and always will. Uh, my daddy's 85, will be 86 in June. My mom's 82, will be 83. No, 81, 80. Oh, better not say that. 82, <laughs> she'll be 82 in June. And they are in fabulous health and they travel and they go and they drive back and forth from Missouri to uh, Arizona two or three times a year. I am so blessed. I've been married 65 years. Wow. Uh, That's uh, wonderful. And yeah, it, it's a, it's a, it's a rarity. And I know that, and I'm thankful and blessed every single day that I still have them around at uh, nearly 60 years old. It's just a number, right? It's just a number. Nearly. Nearly. Yes. Not yet. Uh, who else has got, anybody else have questions? Yeah. Anybody else? Well, that means I just answered really everything. I'm glad that we, I'm glad. Well, we when are the Italians coming out? Oh, that's a good oh, question. Oh, you beat me to I, it. I, I'm going to tell you exactly, and I hope he's listening. I wish Michael, I wish Michael uh, Garrison was on here. Um, and if he is, hi, Michael, Michael, but he's not. Uh, when Luca gets off his ass, that's when we'll get him. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I mean, here's the deal. I can't say much because I'm Italian. We tend to move a little slow sometimes. No, the thing about it is this. When you're the only game in town, you know, of course, Dick Romini is the, about the only Italian blower that I think really does the kind of stuff I want to do. Um, but when that's the case, I'm the little guy on the totem pole, like very little, because we're only doing six pieces for right now. I've got about 25 lined up, but we're going to try this first and see how it works. Um, so I have seen the I have seen the ghost glass, which basically is clear before they before they silver or paint it. So I've seen the shapes and they they look wonderful. I mean, they, they're they're what I they're they're exactly what I kind of envisioned. It's now seeing the paint on them going through and editing that and working that out. I'm hoping to have workable samples maybe in the next couple of weeks. I, they were they were supposed to be to me by the end of February uh, and we see how that went. And uh, and I and it, I, I want to make sure that um, I'm, everyone knows I'm kidding about Luca because if not, he might shut me down. So. <laughs> no, how, Luca, how are things with Di Carlini? Are they getting a, a new younger group learning the art? I know it's a family business, right? Well, I'll tell you what, that's a good question too, Suzanne, because, you know, in general, I will tell you this, you know, in, whether it involves me or not, in general, the whole market's shifting. You all know that. I mean, you can see it because there are certain, there are certain elements that are changing. And I think that maybe as characters get a little more seasoned, and I think that as the generations kind of change, they're looking for something different and, and, and not the way it was. Which is why I believe that the small makers like Kenzie's of London, uh, you know, Glass Passions, 
uh, Timothy and Jill with that wonderful uh, bobble, the antique bobble collection that they've done. Uh, there, there are several, there are several, myself, but there are several that are small makers in a smaller profile that, you know, the, I will tell you this, in this experience, the only thing I have really missed about this from my retail days is the one-on-one -on -one customer service, like the face-to-face. And it's one reason that, you know, people have said to me, your customer service is great. Well, it's just not, it's not really customer service. It's just the way I do things. It's the way I've always done things. And I miss that contact. Uh, and I think sometimes buyers miss the, con the, the contact of being able to actually see the ornaments. So that's a, that's a hurdle we have to jump over. What I've found though, once you've seen the ornaments in person, you kind of have an idea of what they look like, right? You, you, you have enough knowledge to be able to vision if you're seeing something on a picture and it looks a little bit you know, dark, dark or washed out, you pretty much know that it's either dark or washed out. Um, but that being said, I believe that I believe it's I believe that some of the big guys are not going to be around a whole lot longer doing it in the in the footprint they're doing it right. Mm -hmm. Like I think that as it all shifts, that so do those business models have to shift. But I you know as I said, I want to make just small, beautiful, special things. That's it. I'm not trying to make 10,000 of anything. I don't want everybody in the world to have a piece of my glass because it's not possible. You know, if I give this a good eight or 10 years until I'm 70 or, you know, whatever, which that seems like a long time. But if I do, um, that's all the glass I want to make. And what I'll do is I'll just quit and I'll be done. I won't sell it. I won't give it away. I won't, you know, like it'll be done. Like I'll, the, the model is to sell out and be done at the end of every season. And I'll just say, this is the final season and see you in heaven or whatever. Um, <laughs> So you're not, you're but, not do this to us, with right? that being said, I'm sorry, Agnes, what? You will not do this to us. Well, I mean, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be, it'll hopefully be some time, Agnes. I'm trying to do, I'm not plan on doing it quick. Uh, I mean, heck, I just started. Listen, I'm just deep enough in debt, man. I need to stay in here. <laughs> Travis, did you have any well, other let questions? Me tell you all something. If, if, let me tell you all something. If you decide you want to start making glass and do go in the glass business, and Don't. if you think you're going to do that, you can get really rich really fast. There are a lot of other things that you should consider before you consider this part. <laughs> because <laughs> it's, you know, like every time you turn around, I I, I swear, I, I the last few days, I'm like, every time you turn around, somebody needs $15,000. You're like, well, what, you know, like what? Come on. Uh, you know, buying boxes, for instance. You're like, boxes shouldn't be that much. But um yeah, the, but the small makers and the small footprints and I think the small customer service you get, I just think all of that is so, uh, I, had a, I had a mentor tell me when I was about 19 years old, he said this, he said, in the business you're going to be in, because I started in the floral business, floral and Christmas, and he said, in the business you're going to be in, you're going to, to deal with and, and, and take care of more females than you are males. That's just that's just death because most most females are in charge of their houses and decorations and all that. So he said, you're going to do that. He said, here's the advice I'm going to give you. Treat those women like you're selling them shoes or cutting their hair. Always. And for you ladies, you that resonates with you. You know what that's like. Well, the old days when you still went and bought shoes. I mean, you don't really quite buy them like that anymore. But in the old days when you went to Nordstrom and you sat and they brought out hundreds of pairs of shoes and you carried them on for hours and hours and hours, there's something very intimate and special about that. Right. That's something that is not in your outside world at all. Same with when you're having your haircut. That's a very that's a very special just for you. Right. And that is some of the best advice anyone ever gave me was treat them like you're cutting their hair or selling them shoes. Because you have to be reverent to it's it's I'm selling you ornaments, but I can't pick out ornaments for you. I can't tell you what you what you think is pretty. Right. So. That that type of service though is very difficult to achieve when you're a conglomerate, when you're a really big, big company. You it's hard to do that, right? Um, so back to the to Dick Early. I see them going the direction that I am because, like for instance, the pieces they're making for me, even though we're doing just a handful of pieces, they are very complex. Very complex. They're they're more like the like the 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 girl in the champagne glass. That's really two ornaments, right? Same with the girl on the moon. There's this new piece that I wish I could tell you and show you, but I won't. Um, no, there's this new piece that's called Feliz Navidad. And it's basically three, three Mexican heads with sombreros, similar to similar to, to uh, Peking Maidens. It's made like that, or three for the tree. But it's three sombreros stacked on top of each other that is just the most adorable thing you've ever seen. I can't, I can't wait to see it. For any of you who have seen the old vintage De Carlini uh, 
the sombrero, the, the little the little round heads with the sombrero. That's where the idea came from because I have three or four of them. And one day I was unpacking them and I saw them laying together. I'm like, God, that'd be really cute to take that same concept. And and so you know this too, when I while I say that, I'm a one trick pony. I like about six or eight colors. I like lots of holly. I like traditional red and green. I throw in punches of pink and purple and all those colors as well because I also love them. But if you think that I'm going to some way change the wheel, then you're going to have to go look for somebody else because that's not what I'm out to do. I'm not trying to invent. You, you can't, like I hear people when they say, well, is there a trademark on that? It's a round ball. <laughs> you can't really <laughs> trademark a ball, right? <laughs> Also, here's what I say. If you want to copy me, that's fine. Keeping up with me is a whole different story. So if you're two or three steps behind me copying me, I like, but stuff like that just doesn't bother me at all. Like I, I don't care. In fact, I just recently saw a couple of things. Uh, in fact, I will tell you the story and just so you'll go shop with Kalik. Kalik did um, a little oval, a little oval teardrop, kind of like the, the little olives I showed you that had Lone Pine painted on it. And actually, I someone in the group contacted her and said, "Hey, do you realize that that's a Majesty Glass pattern?" And it's, in fact, it's 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 a pattern that I that I uh, interpreted from a very old 1940s piece that I have. So I can't say that it's necessarily original, but the way we did it is is uh, different. And this was painted exactly like my pattern. And she was lovely. She said, "Oh, we did not know that. We thought this was an old Radco pattern that we had painted years ago, and we will we made a handful of them. We'll make sure those go into the European, you know, the European Christmas markets, and we won't make it again." So, I plug Kalek and tell them thank you very much for being respectful in that manner. Which, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Like, we're we're talking about ornaments that I don't think you're going to be able to make a hundred thousand of anything I made that matters at all. So, plus, they're Christmas ornaments. And I tell people this all the time. Those of you will smile who you've heard me say this. At the end of the day, it's just glass. That's all it is. It's just glass. Now, it's beautiful glass, and it's things that we love and that are pretty and sparkly and all that. But just keep in mind it's glass, right? So, who else has got a question? Anyone? Shall we do another giveaway? Our, our second I giveaway? I think we should. Sure. We'll do Yay. that, and then we'll uh, we'll do two verses of "Just as I Am," take an offering, and I'll go home. How about that? Exactly. And those of us not wearing for pants will stand up. Third kids that know what I'm referring to. <laughs> so my dogs were are willing for participants in a bubble dog. I vote to add them the spinning wheel. Hey, hey, uh, Jim, hold up the shut up sign for Ags, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Ags, we've talked about this. We've you talked about it. for trying, and I'm Polish. I was <laughs> made and born in Poland. No. I'm going to get your address. I'm going to get your address. I'm going to get your address. Rich, are there any plans for the Santa firework to do any other type of figure? A um, series yeah, of that? There is. And I'll tell you, the, let me tell you, the, the, unfortunately, the last two times I've been over, I have not had a chance to go to Prague or because, because, uh, Routus is just just outside of probably about 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so, not far. And by the way, you know that Routus is, they're basically the only bead company left, right? So they absorbed all the molds and they've, and here's the other thing too, that a lot of people don't know. Some of those molds, not all of them, but some of those molds are old candy molds. And, and you can recognize it often, like, especially like in the little, some of the little berries and fruits, they're old candy molds that can also be used for, for uh, glass. But I haven't had a chance to go there. And what I need to do, because I get the most creative when I'm in a, in, in a shop, when I'm there. Because like, for instance, my, my German maker, I love working with these people because when I get there, they've probably got 200 blanks blown and they've got it in every single combination you can possibly think of. And then my head just kind of explodes. So I haven't had the chance to do that with Barbara at uh, Rallis, and I'm going to. And when I do, because there's a Christmas tree mold that I love, there's an angel wing mold that I really oh, love. Uh, that's what she was waiting for. Just, just so you know, that's what she was waiting as the, for. As the center of that, of that uh, uh, same as the Santa. But yes, so the answer is yes. And if you ever want a yes, no answer for me, Suzanne, just say at the very beginning, yes, no. <laughs> I'll ramble. She wants an angel. I just know that. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> Suzanne, by the way, I, I'm so glad to tell you this personally. What a wonderful, wonderful um, um, 
honor and award you got with your gingerbread creation. It was absolutely fabulous. Really, yes. really. Well, all your work that was, was the good. craziest project that almost yeah, killed so me. But great, thank you. That had to be a lot of fun. <laughs> had to be a lot of fun. But but congratulations. That was well deserved. Very much so. Uh, Kathy, me too. I'm an angel. Well, you got it, Kathy. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a message. I'm so stupid. Listen, don't rely on me to do anything electronic, okay? <laughs> so shall we do the the, yeah. the second drawing? Yeah, do it. Yes, all Let's right. Let's do it. Let me And no get... ags, you do not qualify. Jim. Yes. Um, can you tell me if I'm in that wheel? I got, kind of got kicked out of the meeting. Where? Uh, what is your name, dear? It's Sean, but it might come up as Mama Long. Oh, let's. I see. saw Sean. I saw it on there as Mama Long. You um, did because I got kicked out a little while ago. I'm so sorry to interrupt you guys. No, no, I no. no. There's, there's, there's there Mama you are. Mama P. There's Mama. I see Mama, Mama P. Mama P. Is that it? No, it, it should be Mama Long or Sean Long. Okay. Well, okay. S so do we do we have a Mama P in the group? So maybe we just put it in wrong. Is there a Mama P? <laughs> no, I don't yeah, think I so. Don't think so I think is. that just needs to be changed to L on Mama. All right. <laughs> Your Mama, L. That's is right. That, is that right, Sean? That's it. That's great. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm going You're to know so you Mama, Mama Long now. That'd be your new nickname for me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are we, are we ready? Yes. We're ready. All right. Here I go. Kevin F. Kevin. Hey. Congratulations, Kevin. Is Kevin with us? Where is he? I don't, uh, Kevin, I see him. He's still on the call. Oh, huh. where are you, Kevin? Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's Kevin's me. muted. Maybe he just doesn't know. I'm here. Muted. There he is. Thank oh. you. There he I'm is. I'm thrilled. Thank you very you much. You won. You are a winner, Kevin. I love your <laughs> ornaments. Oh, thank I got you. my wife I've... talked into an order from me for about a couple hundred dollars. She's going to kill me, but I love your stuff and I can't well, get enough I of it. I love your wife. <laughs> ah, he's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Well, hey, Kevin, get a hold of me when we're done or tomorrow, whenever. Just send me a message and we'll figure out how to get it to you. I sure will. I'm so thrilled. Thank you oh, so much. Awesome. 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 I'm thrilled for you. I wish wish we could give away every something to everybody. And yes. No, you. you do great. And I'm I'm gonna order a bunch of clip-ons and the fireworks and stuff. Oh, from you, awesome. So. Awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. Thank you so Either much. Either this round or the next, but I can't wait. Yeah, know? yeah. Um, you know, and and that that's a that's a good point, Kevin, because the the thing about the the way we're doing the cycles, and I'm not sure exactly how this will always work. I'd like to get mm -hmm. it to where we could do it in three cycles, where we could do like 120 days, 120 days, 120 days, and then sell through till you know up until the Christmas time. Beautiful. Um, so I'm hoping that works. What that does though is that evens out production time for the for the studios because here's what happens to those glass shops: they get inundated and piled on with orders in February, March, and then mm -hmm. it just starts funneling where it log jams into September, October, November right? Because they're all producing for the same purpose, mostly, and that is wholesale companies who are selling retail or mm -hmm. big department stores. Same difference, though. So they get so funneled at the very end, they like the fact that, like, for instance, my 2024 or 2025 orders will be put in in, like, October, November, December. That's when we'll start production. So that way, they have something to do all the time. It evens out the, 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 pay, the payment and the money much easier, evens out production. Mm -hmm. And plus, I don't think that, I think collectors can be reasonable about waiting 90 to 120 <laughs> days for an ornament. I don't think they can be reasonable about waiting 18 months for an ornament. And so that was one of my main purposes is to make sure, first of all, y'all trusted me. You didn't know me from Jack. and mm -hmm. But to make sure we were delivering within the time that I said we'd deliver and or make sure you knew it if we weren't going to. And that's mm -hmm. always- No, you're great. And I would wait. 18 months for your ornaments. <laughs> oh, that's, that's sweet, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, that being said, there were a couple, let's see, there was a couple of a little, oh, I know what I want to tell you real quick, and then we'll we'll sign off and people can go home. Oh, oh you are, you are home. Never mind. Um, if you have not, or if you have not, don't know about how it works, 
This is the Majesty Glass Easy Touch Binder. And what this is, it's it's more or less it's more or less like a, a baseball baseball card page. But what you do is, for those of you who have not gotten ornaments yet or bought anything, when you get your ornament, there's a couple of things. When I decided to design these, I was I refuse to let anyone keep a paper tag on their ornaments. If you want to keep other paper tags in your ornaments, that's your business. But you can't Thank keep a paper you. tag on my ornaments because there aren't any. <laughs> at Thank all. you. <laughs> Many pearl Christmas tree. Um, <laughs> and no offense to anyone who's got the tags because that's your deal. If you if you like that, that's awesome. I'm not going to try to change your mind unless you buy ornaments for me. And then I'm going to force you to change your mind because you can't do it. Unless you want to punch a hole in this and stick it under. <laughs> but I also made it so big that it would be obnoxious if you decided to do that. Um, the purpose of this card. You take it out of the box, and if you don't have a folder, that's fine. But if you do, you just slip it in the folder. And then when you turn it over, the back of the card tells you the name of the ornament, the year it was made, the color it was made, no stock numbers because they're not necessary because I'm not selling stock. Then it has notes. That way you can write anything on there you want. You could say this was painted with a brush made from the hair of baby Jesus. I don't care what you write on it. Doesn't matter to me. Um, and also know this. <laughs> There will, so my point is if you, if you have gotten this, you know how handy this is because we've got a lot of collectors like Mary, for instance, uh, she puts like all of her Radco tags in there as well. So she at least has a, a binder and holding them rather than, a, you know, a, an old cardboard box, which is what I used to do until I just threw them away. I don't keep any tags at all. I know I'm totally rogue, but I can't keep up with my shoes, much less a tag on an ornament. But the purpose of that was that you can be the historian and write if you if you bought it to give it to someone, write a note on there. If someone gave it to you, you can write a note on there. As I said, I don't care what you write on there. Know this though. If there's ever going to be a historian to any of this, it'll have to be one of you because I'm not doing it. There won't be a coffee table book. There won't be any records of history. What I can do is give you a running list of the ornaments we made in the year we made them, and that's it. So um again, I <laughs> I, I, I want to be forgotten. Like I don't it, that none of that matters to me. Um, one of the other practical things that I did that some of you have noticed. But if you, uh, Mitch, sorry to cut you off. I just checked the chat, and there was a question. Oh, uh, are you waiting for those binders to come in? No, we have the we have the binders now. Okay. Have, you know what? We have the binders, and I know that some of you probably have binders on order. And why I have not gone through and shipped those to you, I don't know. You know what? If you have binders on order, you will have them this week sometime. I'll have Mikey, my IT guy. Um, if you ever see Mikey Andrews roaming around on the pages, you've seen comments from him occasionally. I have to give my hat, hat off to him. He is a very dear friend of mine, and he does all the IT. He designed the website. He does all that electric stuff. If there was, if, if it were me, it'd be a big chief tablet and a fat pencil, and that's how he'd be taking orders. So thank you, Mikey. Thank you, Mikey. Um, but I'll have him pull those, and we'll get those out because those are actually shipped in soft padded envelopes. So if you've got one on order, you'll have it in the next uh, seven to 10 days for sure. All right. So thank you for, for stopping that. Uh, the last thing I was going to tell you, if you've noticed 90% of my ornaments have a glittered hike, right? Um, as simple as this, see how the, see how the pike is glittered down. Do you know the reason that I glitter almost all my pikes? So the tag doesn't scratch. That's exactly right. So that, well, it's actually so the inner pin wire doesn't scratch. Because if you know that most, you know, you see lots and lots of ornaments that have that inner scratch on the inside of them. They don't bother me a bit. I mean, my own stuff, I like it to look used. You know, I, I in fact, it's one of the most fascinating things about my own collection is that I, I, I often think, where have these ornaments been and who, where have they hung and who got a, who got a new, <laughs> you know, bicycle and a new doll and like, where have these ornaments been? What have they witnessed, right? So I like wear and tear on my ornaments. As I said, I don't have anything that's pristine or perfect or anything like that. However, I know that the scratch pikes is an issue with a lot of people and it, and it doesn't look good. And if you can prevent it, why not? So that's why the majority of everything that you see from me will have a, a, a glittered pike and it won't have a tag. And some of those things were just very practical things that, that, you know, that I noticed for myself and kind of the way that I collect and the way I see it. Um, and I hopefully you guys will appreciate that as well. Other than that, I am probably out of wind and you probably are, you guys are probably tired of hearing from. <laughs> Thank you. Well, 
I actually Thanks. want to thank everybody for coming because yes, I thank just, you for your time. That means so oh my much gosh. taking time out to do this. We'll do it again though, for sure. All right. And as I said, I will say this once more. If any of you all ever need anything whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a message. Really. I mean, unless it's a lot of big amount of money, because that that's that's probably what I could use from you too. So um <laughs> But seriously, if you ever have comments or thoughts or need help or just need a shoulder to cry on or anything like that, please feel free to reach out to myself for sure. Because I, I promise you, you got a friend in me without any question. Well, thank you to all of our Jolly Holly members. And thank you, Mitch. And thank, thank you to all you, the Mitch. Maxi Glass members. This was wonderful. Uh, yes. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's what I'll close with. Do me a big favor. As I said, my birthday's coming up in two days. I don't make really big deals out of birthdays even 60 i don't it's you know i'm i'm blessed and fortunate and thankful to be on this side of the ground at 60 is the way i feel about it but you know i feel like with jolly holly and with kenzie's of london and now majesty glass i believe that we have started something completely new because yes. right now i feel so much closer with everybody yeah. and it's it's mm -hmm. me too it's, it's really, it's really overwhelming, but it's absolutely amazing. And you know, this is what me and Mitch and Travis and Ken have discussed in the past. These are just ornaments. I don't care if it's a thousand dollar ornament, ten thousand dollar ornament, or a dollar ornament. Screw that. It's about the people we have met. And Ivan, Mr. D, uh, Rene, Steve, you know. A lot of amazing friends, and 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 that's what Christmas is about. So, guys, thank you so very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well said, well yeah. said, eggs. Yeah, well, I'll I'll um I'll uh say this in closing. Feel free to share Majesty Glass and what we're doing, as well as as uh, Travis's page. But please, and. I... <laughs> This is the weirdest thing about this business model. It's the first time I have ever done anything where you try to keep it small and you try to keep the, you know, usually most businesses are like, tell everybody and just keep, you know, like scale up. It's not that. So tell and share people that you know will care, whether they're customers or not, that they will care and enjoy being part of our family and what we've built. And I know that you all will protect it and take care of it. And I know that you watch it. I know I've got a lot of mother mother hens out there keeping an eagle eye on it. Um, invite people. We here's what we want. I don't I don't need to be have a giant group. I want a special group. Same thing with, with the glass that I create. I don't need to sell it to everybody. I want it, I want it to be in the hands of people who love it and appreciate it. And I want it to be in the hands of people that won't ever get rid of it. You know, I my my biggest my my biggest hope is that there's never a secondary market for my glass. That's what I, would make me the happiest person in the world. Um, but I can't control that. So anyway, so well, if you'll if you invite people that you know and care about that you think will be a, a, a special added member to our group. And same with sharing the website, uh, but do not broadcast it to hundreds and thousands of people because it will really <laughs> make an issue for me when I've got a glass shop making me, you know, 25 of this. <laughs> <laughs> So I appreciate it. Thank you again. I love you all. And um, we'll do it again soon, I promise. And happy birthday, Mitch. Uh, happy, oh, birthday. Yes. happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, Mitch. Mitch. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> okay, I want you to know. I'll give you a special one. I want you to know so I can see long, everybody so who did long. not sing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks again, guys. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye now.